what is up guys? So today Glenn and I we decided to get a little competitive and we're going to the batting cages. I, I've never really played baseball, so this is gonna be terrible. I'm so good. Cody Bellinger. Aaron Judge. Bartolo Colon. No, I'm not Colon. Bartolo. I'm not Bartolo. Okay. I'm going up first. Let's get it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Low, slow. Oh, damn. Oh, I don't even know what's coming out of me. That's low, bro. God, do I have to like golf these out? Just swing, bro. Oh. Oh. How do they hit? Oh. No, that's, nah. that's a dinker. That's one. That's, that's one. Foul. That's straight away. But you got struck out. Oh, look at that! Good. You're easy. Straight. Oh, let's go. Grounder between second and first. Straight to the short file. Oh, in your face, Justin Turner. Oh, God, I'm a going. Oh, God, super strikeout. Oh, that's good. That's okay. right of the pocket. That's low, bro. That's in play. That's in play, bro. All right, fine. Oh, that's a home run. That's barely hit the outfield. Home run. Home run. Home run. That's good. That's good. good that's a home run. 10 for 10, bro. Oh, tip. Good eye, good eye. I get on base, boy. I get on base! I get on base! I get on base all day. I get on base, that's a home run right there, that last one. <laughs> home run! Alright, so now we know I'm better at this one. No shot! Bartolo Colon over here. No way. Yep. I probably had like at least 30 RBIs. Nah, today. I probably had like 31 then. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hype Weeks. And today, we wanted to go to this place for dessert. So located here in Pasadena, California, we have Cafe 86. I'm not much of a guy for sweets. But I've heard a lot of things here. They have a lot of ube stuff, and I'm Filipino, so ube is my go-to. So if you guys didn't know, Glenn and I are Filipino, so we have an inherent love for ube and all ube-related products. So we decided to come here, as Cafe 86 is known for all their ube pastries and desserts and things. So let's go inside. So I, tr I got really excited. I ordered as many ube things as I could see. I got the Barney special. Yeah. <laughs> Five items. We got the official food of the Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> the worker there put us on this ube milkshake. You want to do a Lady of the Trap? Nope. You go first. Lady of the Trap? No. Hey. You said I go first. <laughs> hey. Yup. <laughs> Pretty milky. They have those Oreo crumbs on top that make it really, really good and really, really tasty. That's delicious. Smooth, easy to drink. And it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. I mean, that's the thing why I like taro and ube stuff is that it's not overly sweet. Next one. <laughs> so they have an ube pop tart, which I don't think you've ever heard that sentence before. It's gonna look super flaky. I'm ready to take a bite. Let's rip that. We'll rip this hoe. Ooh, ooh. Cheers. Oh man. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's like an empanada, like a sweet empanada. It has that super flaky crust. Yep. Delicious. Like I said, not overly sweet, which is perfect. It's like a nice ube cream on the inside, and that crust is really nice. If I could bring one of these home, pop it in the toaster. Oh, Lord. Dude, it would be so good. Next one. I don't really eat cassava too much. I know my mom cooks it a lot. Feeling it super dense. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Ding. Yup. This is good. Subtle sweetness, like all the other stuff. It has really good moist texture when you take a bite out of it. Mm -hmm. It is dense feeling, but it is not that dense to eat. Yeah, it doesn't feel heavy in my stomach. Nope. Oh, this one looks so sexy. This is the cheesecake, ube cheesecake. So it's ube cheesecake, but you know what's on top? Sky flakes. And if you don't know what sky flakes are, sky flakes are like the Filipino equivalent of Ritz crackers. <laughs> Yeah. We grew up eating them because that's what our moms had in their bag as an emergency snack. Did your mom ever have that? Of course. Okay. It looks like there's three parts to this. There's a crust, there's the middle part, and then there's like a frosting on top with the sky flakes on top of that. Also feels very heavy and <laughs> dense. Uh, 
solid. I'm not really a cheesecake guy. Sky Flakes add a really good texture to the end. Has a nice salty bite at the end. I can see how cheesecake lovers would like this. Yep. Not really my thing. Now, the crown jewel. So this is what Cafe 86 is known for. The ube cupcake with leche flan on top. And if you guys know what leche flan is, it's like a custard with caramel. Let's cut this, baby. Uh, it's leche. Oh, there's no um, setup like this that uh, you get on the property. Oh, the but phones are okay? Yeah, the phones are fine and everything. Oh, thank you very much. So Paul Blart just came here. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we have our last thing here. The cupcake with the leche flan on top. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Cheers. Bing. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. That one's interesting. We definitely need water. That one's really dense in the cupcake and when you eat it. But it tastes delicious. It's rich. Super rich. The leche flan's made exactly properly it's so good mm -hmm. cupcakes good too and really really moist inside all right we're gonna let our cameraman try this stuff out we're gonna try to run away from the cops and we'll get back to you guys with our thoughts so we just finished eating our cafe 86 and it was so so freaking good i think i might turn purple after this that always served as your favorite. Besides the milkshake, the cassava cake was my favorite. Everybody else didn't like it, but I thought it was really good. Subtle sweetness. It was actually more reminiscent, I think. That's why. Nostalgic. I think mine will be at the cheesecake. Just because it was a really good balance. The sweetness and then the, the salty sky flakes on top, which I really liked. It was like a nice crumble. Close second was the Pop-Tart, though. Yeah, those, those were both pretty dynamic, and I can see why people like them. I guess I was liking the more traditional style dessert. But yeah, I mean, at Cafe 86, they're doing a bunch of new stuff. Combining different things, trying different flavors. Trying to make ube in a way that you will really like it. That's true. They're giving you all ways to find out which way that you could try ube that suits you best. Anyways, thank you guys for coming on another adventure with us. We had a great time trying the food here at Cafe 86. If you are ever in Pasadena, California, please come by Cafe 86. We will drop a link in the description below so you guys can check them out. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And if you already do subscribe, hit the bell button down below to get all of our notifications right to your phone or your email. So we just want to thank you guys again. And we'll see you guys next time on Hype. Boom!